Punta Hospital started from me coming to Punta Nita for vacation. And we found this paradise, a location where we wanted to retire. And when we decided that we wanted to retire here, we looked around and we didn't find medical services that could be adequate and within time to save our lives. Uh, so I went on a quest and a crusade to improve the healthcare in the area. What I did was basically look at the location and the distances and decided that I would want to build a hospital in Punta Mita to service the people in the community and the surrounding communities, but also to serve the people that are inside the gates of Punta Mita that come here for vacations and hotels that have guests. So based on that, we decided to put a hospital outside the gates in the heart of the city where everybody could access it. And from there, it was a process of learning how things work in Mexico and working the system to get a hospital up and running from the moment we broke the ground to nine months later, a hospital. And it was really based on finding the right people, professionals, who really were good at what they did and very efficient. And I was extremely surprised that within nine months, the hospital was opened and very uh, proud of it. The hospital has emergency services. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we have emergency room doctors and general doctors that cover the clinic in the emergency room. We have paramedics that respond to emergencies. We have two intensive care ambulances that can respond to emergencies. We have 24 hours a day laboratory and x-ray services. And we have operating rooms for patients that need surgery and inpatient hospital care. In addition, we have services for fertility patients. We have a world-class fertility center, which is an extension of my fertility center in Beverly Hills, the Center for Reproductive Health and Gynecology, duplicated here in Punta Mita, Mexico. We are working on bringing in medical tourism to Punta Mita, uh, in an attempt to be able to not only sustain the hospital, but also uh, be able to provide different services and attract more tourism to the area. Our goals at this time are to be able to provide these services at the highest level to American standards. We provide emergency services like appendectomies, ectopic pregnancies in patients who have ectopic pregnancies, orthopedic surgeries, uh, laparoscopic surgeries, arthroscopic surgeries, uh, hip and knee replacement as needed, um, all the services that you know a regular hospital can provide. For example, bariatric services, bariatric surgery services, etc., etc. So basically, the categories are emergency abdominal surgeries. Um, elective abdominal surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, gynecological surgeries and services. Uh, in the future, we are trying to expand that by having all the extra ancillary services that will then allow us to do more higher level of care. We are adding to the hospital a 64 slice CT scan, which can do cardiac evaluation and stroke evaluation. We are adding a C arm that will be able to not only evaluate cardiac, catheter, catheter, uh, cardiac patients for catheterization, but treat them for heart attack. We are adding an ICU <clears throat> to the hospital, which all these will be opening up very shortly. And as we do this, we are gonna be able to provide higher level of care for example, surgeries that would have required an ICU, would have required a CR, would have required services that are higher level, will be now be provided here. 
we realized that obviously it's only been a year since we've been open. And we've come so far. And people didn't expect us to be making so many rapid uh, improvements. And they will be surprised next year with all the improvements we have. And I think people will be proud to call Punta Vida Hospital their community hospital. When I say community hospital, I mean we are trying to also help the community. And we're doing that by a foundation that has been created called Punta Vida Hospital Foundation. And this foundation is going to help the people in the community in need. We're going to attract the patients that are in need. We're going to sign them up for this membership plan. We're going to give services to these people in need at a very reduced cost, subsidized at a discount by the foundation. This will fulfill one of my main purposes of opening up this hospital, and that was to be part of the community and give back to the community. And this is not going to be possible unless the medical tourism and other aspects of this hospital grows to be able to subsidize the other aspects. Well, as one of the founders, um, I feel proud. Uh, I feel proud of the people that work here because I am on a daily basis amazed by their professionalism and the heart they put into their work. I'm proud that it's kind of like delivering a baby. We went from uh, pretty much nothing to some major hospital that can provide care. And as you see it grow, you can not stop and wonder, wow, what if? What if I hadn't done this? Now that I've done it, oh my God, where is it going? And it's uh, proud and at the same time a daily source of uh, um, intrigue about what's next and what should we do next? How do we improve? We cannot stay stagnant. So uh, every day we wake up and say, what can we do better? What can we do? Next. What is the future of Punta Mita Hospital? I think Punta Mita Hospital is going to be one of the best hospitals in Nayarit eventually. And for that purpose, it is really important for us to um, look at the needs of the area and try and work uh, to improve those needs. Um, and I think that we'll be a hospital that will be well known around the world. At this time, we are doing research, for example, in Punta Vida Hospital that is going to be world-renowned. Fertility research that is going to be presented uh, in July in Barcelona. And the first of its kind. And as we do those kinds of things and push the envelope, I think that we'll be more and more recognized as a major center. A center where the community will be proud to have and hopefully Mexico will be proud to have us. I would like you to look us up online, going to meet a hospital, to see the services we provide and to see if you would like to come and have some services done in Mexico while enjoying paradise. Uh, if you look it up, you will see that uh, it was no reason why you should enjoy a nice vacation at, and have medical services at high quality at reduced cost.